We are down to our last uh, 350 acres of soybeans to put in. Our corn is all in, but right now we've got a 9560 John Deere. It's an RT model like that, but a bigger frame. That's an 8360. And Jim is stuck. <laughs> Right now we've got all of our tractors hooked up doing something and it sounds like that tractor is pretty stuck so we're not going to be able to hook the 6410 to it and get it out very easily. So what the plan is, is to unhook the 8260 from the roller, drive that up there, see what we can do. Maybe we can unhook the field cultivator and pull it out that way. I guess we'll see what we got on our hands when I get up there. Unhook this deal. If the jack is around, there we go. gonna run that up to the field meet Jim up there and I'll be coming with a rope These are the bad boys we are going to need no no so he is stuck in the ditch that we closed a couple of weeks ago where Randy was out here closing it. I can't quite tell yet exactly what's going on, but he's in the ditch. Oh man. Holy crap. That's not cool. I'd feel more comfortable if you took a look at what we got here because we're not going to go forward. The steps are actually in the, in the mud. And it looks dry on top. He was going straight across it. I can't believe it sunk the way that it did, but he's way in there. <clears throat> the digger is not stuck. It's sunk a little bit on uh, on the right side wings, but but that's the big thing. So we're gonna have to pull everything backwards. Should give him crap, but that could turn around and bite me real quick, so I'm not gonna. Well, I would encourage it. Or just if it a makes... portion of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you know if it was if the tables were turned that. <laughs> you think you would? <laughs> all right, if we're all looked, unhooked up front, I'll. I'm going to see if it'll move, bit, yeah. Okay. I'll try. I'm not going to go much because the guy that makes the payments on it isn't here yet. <laughs> that is a terrible spot to stand, Jim. That right side wing is just sunk in. I really don't want to have an issue here. It's just these right sides that are sunk in too much, isn't it? Pull this side out first. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I wonder what would happen if we folded up these outside wings to get, you know, you're adding weight over here, but then it's going to get these other wheels out of here. I wonder if we folded them up a little bit, if they would stay enough. If this side would stay up, we don't care if that side's down or not. Right. Just this, side Just this side would stay up, yeah. So we moved the chain just a little bit to try and get it to pull more upwards instead of down as much as it was. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but we'll see. We hooked up the wings on the digger, the field cultivator, and our plan is to fold it up a little bit and see. We're gonna be putting more weight on certain tires, but if we can get the wing out of the mud, maybe that'll help. 
Here comes boss man. Why won't it raise the wings? I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe you should get in that 8260 and try pulling it and see what you think. You just try it easy and see. Yeah, because the, the, the next thing, if we can't get the wings up, is to move the chain over into that corner and try to pull, pull something from over there. But you see, I tried pulling a couple times. I just didn't want to pull it too hard. You did try pulling? Yeah. It I mean, we can get it to move. This side over here will roll, but that south side is just stuck and I I mean I didn't want to pull anything apart without you here to see it yeah all right we'll see what this does I think if you, maybe we re, re straighten the rope, but if you pull farther and the hitch swings out that way, we can pin it to this and pull the digger out of the way. Yeah, kind of shifted. I think, I think it was just the wheel popping out of there. Okay. When it shifted, it was just those wheels popping out, wasn't it? Yep. How much equipment can we collect out here right now? What'd you call it? <laughs> yeah, they make it a heck of an obstacle course to get in here. What's on there? You want the rope to pull it? Yeah. Put the rope around the rope. Take that other side down first. All right, good thing I'm a 1996 log rolling champion. I lied, but my sister-in-law took some log rolling classes, so that counts. Hi, Katie. What? We gotta have blackmail pictures. Yeah, we gotta have uh, proof as to who did this. There you go. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you do that, Jimmy? Yeah, that was easy. Jim. <laughs> well, you're entertaining now. I gotta keep it rolling. Would you like to just hold this on Jim the whole time? <laughs> it would be worth quite a bit. <laughs> Wow, this side is... <coughs> yep. this yeah, side you would think this would be closer, so that would be wetter, so that would be down. But you would think it would be. Must be, I don't know if it's like a spring here or something. Well, that's the weird part is the water coming through the pipe should just be passing through. It should be. These things are hard to get stuck, but you did a good job here, Jim. You really, really See, screwed up. I was, I was going straight. I was going to go this way on the drop. And it sucked because it looked yeah, a little day up there. And that, that side just dropped. Oh, just, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna see if we get the beast out. Oh boy. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, she's coming. Come on. Come on. Holy buckets. Look at the hole. That thing was just about buried. Holy buckets. This is crazy. This is totally crazy. Wow, that is super good. But she came out, no problem. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy that. We'll only harass you about it for the next 30 or 40 years, Jim. She got muddy. Oh, Jim, that was, uh, 
incredibly uncomfortable for a minute there. You can you can hear it squishing yeah. around in there. Yeah. You think if we just hook the main up and down? I it should lift this part right up. Should I would. We let it down and should the kit should come up. Right. That's something up there. Go around that area down there. I can't believe how soft it is because it's dry on top. I'd have probably driven over that too. Just like I would have too. Tried to sneak over that with a float over it. Yeah, I that was fun. Ah! I'm guessing this is a three, four, maybe 500 pound chain. You know, Jim, I love you, but it was almost worth it so that we could spend an hour harassing you. Oh, and I, I lied to you when I said I wasn't gonna put it on the internet. God, I'm like hungry now. Big boy's gotta eat. Five to seven, we're gonna leave this field now, so don't do anything stupid, okay?